Bibles are falling down off of there. Joe, what the hell is going on? Are you serious? What, the... what happened? Hello there, this is Patty with the G Team, and I'm here with my daughter Heather with hey the guys, G Team as what's well. Up? She doesn't get in a whole lot of videos with me that much anymore because she's been really busy with uh, school and work and raising kids and things yeah. like that. So, But I'm here tonight and we're mm -hmm. going to try to do some stuff. We're going to use her dowsing rods. Yes. I'm trying to learn how to say it. Dowsing rods. Dowsing and some rods. Maybe and uh, we were going to go live, <coughs> but we decided to just do a video. Maybe next time we'll go live, but I think it'll be pretty interesting and hopefully we get some good stuff tonight. Yes, definitely. Now, uh, when we do go live, we're, we're just trying to think of a way a, a way to do this where, because I know everybody's going to want to make contact with their loved one, kind of like when I did with the spirit box, you yeah. know, I went live with that. And a lot of people, you know, if they don't get picked, you know, they, they get upset or, you know, hurt or whatever. And there's just so many people, it's not possible to do everybody. So we're trying to come up with a plan as to how we can do this. So if you guys have any ideas for a live stream and how we could do this, where we could pick maybe the first 10 people or something. And put it have in the them, comments. Yeah, put it in the comments. Well, maybe And, and have each person uh, that, we get, that gets picked uh, maybe ask three questions to make, you know, so we're not sitting there on the same person for very, very long. Yeah, it's a good so, idea. I thought about something like that, but then it's like, okay, how do I pick the first 10 people? I mean, I mean 10 people. Do I pick the first 10 people? Do I, because um, some people don't get their notifications. You know, I realize that because it happens to me. Omar will go live, Joe and Rob will go live, James will go live, and I don't always get the notification right away. So um, that could be a problem too. So I've got to figure out something, but you guys can help me with that. So give me some ideas of how we can do this in a live stream where I can little by little help people make communication through these rods because I believe these things. If you didn't see that video, you mm -hmm. got to go watch it. It's amazing uh, where we made communication with family. Um, with Mike and Gary and, and uh, Angie's dad and uh, I've been playing with these with Heather tonight and um, she's totally into it now and, and, yeah. and, and the kids impressed. even we were having it point to the kids earlier and I filmed some on my phone I'll put a, a little video out hopefully tonight um, but you're gonna she's gonna do this video after me I'm sure but yeah. uh, the, the rods were pointing to the kids so yes. they were amazed too yeah. it's pretty cool definitely pretty cool and at one point she closed her eyes and did it so that way it actually like and had them move around so and it <coughs> went straight to them yes definitely did so I got a little bit of a cough there's a lot of pollen out right now so and I think this allergies. fuse thingy it's burning my eyes a little oh, bit it is? so if you guys see me blinking my eyes and stuff that's why I have why. a diffuser <laughs> going with some lavender it's like right next it. to my face so some relaxing lavender yeah it's very relaxing it, is it almost smells like sage in here. Mm -hmm. Do you sage it a lot? I do. I sage it yeah. in here all the time. And I actually have a little bit of sage I had Yeah, I can earlier, smell so. sage. It smells really good in here. Yeah, I It just kind of burns your eyes a little bit. In here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a few things with the dowsing rods tonight. And uh, I'm going to have Heather ask some questions. And, okay. And, uh, oops. All right, so I've already practiced with her. And uh, what you do at first, you, you don't touch the tops and you don't touch the bottoms. You kind of hold it in between. And uh, you keep them a little bit apart, yeah. like maybe about this far apart. See how they're pointing straight? And you always make sure that they're pointing straight, not down or up. Because if they're down, they're going to tend to see how they tend to sway. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to point them down. You want them to be pointed straight. So you, and you can put your fingers right here to straighten them. And then just kind of move them back down like that. Okay. So here we go. So I'm going to have Heather ask some questions. Uh, she's probably going to want to reach out to Mike and Gary. Mm -hmm. uh, those of you that don't know, Gary is my son that passed away in um, January of 2015. And also Heather, it's Heather's brother. And then Mike is Heather's stepdad, which was my husband. He passed away in May of 2017, which was not that long ago. So we're going to try to make communication with them. All right, go ahead, Heather. All right. Did you explain the yes and no? Um, let's do it again just in case. Okay. Okay, so Mike 
Are you here with us tonight? If so, show me your yes answer. Okay, the same as the other day. Okay. Okay. Then you kind of clear them out a little bit. All right, that's great. Thank you, Mike. And Gary, if you're here with us tonight, show us your yes answer. Okay. So if you're going to say no to something, how are you going to move these rods? Both of you can answer this. Uh, how are you going to move the rods if it's a no answer? That's what I thought. Okay. Wow. So be this side, this will be no, this side yes. Okay. <clears throat> what does it mean? How would I ask that? I'm going to say what does it mean when they cross? Because sometimes they cross and it's like that. Yeah. I'm wondering what that means. How would I ask that? Is that maybe like a, a maybe answer? Yeah. When it crosses, what is, does that mean maybe? Does it mean you're pointing to somebody? <clears throat> Sorry. Does it mean maybe you're unsure? Ah. That's what it is. It's just an unsure. And we've oh, got that a few times. Oh, yes, we have. So, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of you have went out and got dowsing rods since you've seen my first video. You, you ordered them online or whatever, which is really cool. So be sure to watch a couple other videos about them, too. There's a couple people out there that have some awesome videos mm -hmm. on, on dowsing rods, and, and that's what I did is I watched them. Okay. <clears throat> Are you ready, Heather? Yeah. Let's do this. Okay, let's see. Should I just ask one of them a question? Yeah, or... we'll do one at a time. Okay. Gary, are you here with us right now? Wow, well, yes okay. he is. Are you happy where you are? Yes he is. Do you wish you were still here with us on Earth? Yes, he does. Um, let's see. Do you regret what you did? Yes, he does. Was there anything that we could have done to save you from that, from what you did? No. Wow. Wow. I have goosebumps. I do too. <laughs> Both my arms. Yes, I do too. Okay. Um, Were you the first one to get to Mike when he crossed over to the other side? Yes. And he's actually told us that in an EVP. Mm -hmm. um, said Gary was there because yes. we asked who was there first. Who did you see first? It said Gary. Yeah, and when I did the rods on my the video, the first video I put out, I asked that question and it's yeah. the same thing. <clears throat> okay. Do you want to ask him about what time he died? Yeah. Go through the, some time okay. starting at 4 o'clock in the morning when he, okay. when we know it was sometime around 4 or after. So what time did you die that morning on January 2nd, 2015? Was it 4 a.m.? Around 4.30 a.m.? Around 5 a.m.? Was it between 4 and 4.30? When was the last text message? 4 o'clock in the morning. He texted his 
girlfriend at four o'clock in the morning. It was right at four o'clock in the morning. So okay, so I started too far ahead. <clears throat> it's okay. No, we that's go... why it was swinging. Probably. Yes, it yes. Was maybe saying go back. Right. Four o'clock in the morning oh, is wow. when that. Uh, so it happened between four and four thirty. We could probably pick a time if you want to go through like four o one, two, okay. three, four. You know, have you? Was it at four o one? 402 407 408 409 410 411 412 413 414 415 416 417 418 419 420 421 422 423 424 425 426 427 Whoa. Oh wow. So is that 420? You know what? That's so Oh, I just seen the weird. light blink. I did, did too. Did you see that? Shit? Yes. Wow, 427. 427. That's so weird that it stopped at 427, Mom, because I had that feeling it was going to have a 7 in it. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. I just I, like, knew yeah. it was going to have a 7 well, in it. You have that, that uh, yeah. psychic ability, so it, that's your, your senses oh was Oh, my gosh, you. and the light flickered and as soon as. the light as, flickered. Soon as. Yes, I hope the camera caught that. Yeah. <clears throat> the light in my office here that I have standing behind the camera actually flickered. No, right when you said I didn't say anything because I was trying to count. But as I was counting and looking at the rods, I seen some kind of like fog over here. You did? And at one part of the video, you'll see me. I looked over at the card because I thought, you know, I didn't know it was my eyes messing with me or what. But I seen a fog. Oh, wow. Go like that. And then I was like. And I just continued wow. counting, but I've seen something right we towards the end. We saw a fog in the first video we did, and you guys will see that. Now, I wasn't sure if it was my sage burning in my dish or not, but throughout that whole one-hour video, we fit me and Angie filmed for about an hour. <clears throat> I did not see any of that smoke coming from the, the sage bowl, and all of a sudden, poo, it's like it kind of kind of went by us, and it's like, was that sage or was that something else? I don't know. I can't really say, and I don't yeah. Oh, the kids are going to okay. fight. Okay. Now, she's got her camera rolling, too, so she wants to film some of this as well. Um, okay, so now we'll make communication with, with Mike. Okay. Do you want me to ask the question? Yeah, go okay. ahead, because you haven't had the chance to really do that yet. All right. On, on camera, that is. So, Mike, are you here with us right now? Yes, he is. Okay. Let's get, sorry, I got a nose itch. You know how it works. Tell me holding something in your nose itches. <laughs> Mike, was there anything that we could have done differently to prevent uh, you from leaving us? 
Yes. Yes. Oh, no. oh. Can I ask that again? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to think of a better way to ask it. If someone was here when you collapsed in the bathroom, would there have been time to revive you or get you back to life if somebody was here with you and found you in time? Yes. God, it breaks my heart. Really does. Yeah, Mike had several seizures and we always, somebody was always right there yeah. and we got him to wake up before. And, and um, it was almost like if we weren't there, he wouldn't have woken up if you think about it. Because he was know. so purple. I know. Where we would have to like straighten his body out, yeah. get his neck up, get him where he would take a breath. And then when he breathed, he woke up and he came out of the seizure. Yeah. So I, part of me feels like he laid in the bathroom floor, he fell out, he, he had a seizure, fell out, and he was, he suffocated. That's what I'm thinking. Because nobody was there to, to help, him. help him. Because he almost died every other time he had a seizure and someone yeah. was always Somebody there to save him. JT there. saved him that one time. I saved him a couple times. Yeah. I think you have. I mean, someone was always there to save him. And that's one of the reasons I, I know I've mentioned this before. Some of you may have heard me say it. Right, at one point I actually thought about stopping YouTube, only because I felt so guilty because I was at a YouTube convention when this happened. It was my very first Playlist Live. Um, I took my granddaughter Kylie and Marie took her granddaughter Haley and we went and we rented a place and we were so excited. It was our first weekend, you know, away together at, at, for this YouTube thing. And Mike was here with the boys and it just... It, it just bothered me so bad because I wasn't here. Yeah, Even though my sister Shirley was here, she was in this room here actually at the time. This wasn't my office. My sister Shirley was actually staying here with me for temporarily. Uh, she's my older sister and she was staying in this room. But she was in here asleep because this happened early, you know, wee hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. um, but I just, I guess this guilty feeling I had because I thought, well, if I had been here, I would have been in there in the room. I would have heard him fall. You know? Yeah, but you can't blame yourself either, though. I mean, I know it, you know, woulda, coulda, shoulda kind of thing, but yeah. it's there's really nothing you can do. And he supported her as far as her being over there and doing that. And he was happy for her. Yeah, he was. Because he knew she was doing something that she loved and that kept her happy and positive and stuff. Because he's a very positive person. So he was. He would never have blamed you for anything. So don't blame oh, yourself. I know. I you know. know. And he wouldn't want me to. And no. he always told me that about Gary. He always said, Gary would mm -hmm. not want you blaming yourself for anything. This is not your fault. You know, because mm -hmm. Gary was upset at me the night that he did what he did. He was extremely drunk. He was upset at me because I wouldn't let him get more alcohol because I knew he was drunk enough. I was trying to kind of like trying to save him from himself. Yeah. You know, and then in turn, this is what happened. Um, you know, so of course that, that always bothered me. And Mike would always tell me, don't blame yourself. Don't blame yourself. You know, Gary wouldn't want you blaming yourself. He wouldn't have. If Gary hadn't have been drinking, <clears throat> he when he been. woke up the next day... He would have been completely fine. Yep. He would have came and apologized to my mom for mm -hmm. arguing. That's just how Gary was. Mm -hmm. He was the first in the whole family to apologize. Always. He was the first to admit his wrongs, yeah. his faults. He he would not go a day without telling you he's sorry yeah. if you fought. He just didn't. He couldn't sleep with it on his back. Mm -hmm. Like that's just how Gary was. Yeah. So I know that he took a temporary problem and turned it into a permanent solution. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Yes, and unlike a lot of people, a lot of people do a that. A lot of people Suicide. do that, and you know you got to think of it like that. It's a temporary mm -hmm. problem. I mean, I'm sorry. It's a permanent temporary <laughs> problem, and they turn it into a permanent solution by killing yeah. themselves and yeah. committing suicide. Yep. So it's not the it's answer. It's not good because and then it affects everybody. And I know I know Gary feels probably guilty for what he did now he because does. he sees all the suffering and the hurt and everything that we've went through. Like we've been a total wreck since since he's left. Yeah. We've all been lost, haven't been able to figure out what we're doing in life and so suicide doesn't just hurt the person, it hurts everybody and the whole yeah, family. It does. So Okay. So we'll ask some more questions. Don't mean to make you cry. <laughs> yeah, but YouTube has, has helped my mom a whole lot, so I'm I'm thankful that you've found something that's focused your mind on differently. 
because if you sit around and focus on that all the time, it's just going to depress you. So, very true. Yeah. And being able to communicate with them really helps me. Oh, yeah. 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 It does. It helps me too. Like, I love doing the EVPs because. Get to shoot. Yeah. I love doing the EVPs. Where well, are they? I thought they were right there. Would the kids take off with them again? <laughs> Let me see. Here, I'll go get. Oh, you got that? Okay. Yeah, I got something. Sorry, guys. It's okay. Emotional there. So yeah, so we, um, I love doing the EVPs. Maybe after we do this, we'll yeah, throw that on and, and see if we can answer, get some answers to stuff too. All right, so Mike, we're still asking Mike some questions. Um, let's see. Mike, was Gary the first person that you've seen when you crossed over? Was his spirit in the bathroom with you right when you came out of your body? Or did you see him once you came out into the spirit world? So how do I say that? Let's see. Did you see him in the bathroom right when you came out of your body in your spirit form? That's how I picture it in my head was yeah. that Gary was right there. Right as he came out. I, I kind of picture it like that, too. I know exactly what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, like he was just there. Yeah. Have you met God? Um, oops, sorry, I still got tears over here. <laughs> oops, sorry, I almost, I almost <laughs> clocked her. She would have had a permanent tear there. Oh, my right. goodness. Dowsing rod. The dowsing rod tear. Plop. Bob's Heather in the eye. Um, okay. What else? I asked some questions earlier off camera because I was just kind of playing around with them and just asking random questions. Uh, didn't have the camera rolling, but um, I'm going to go ahead and ask a couple of them now because I want to see if I get the same answers. I probably will. Mm -hmm. And they're probably things that you've all thought about. Every one of you, because I know we've thought about it. Everybody I know has thought about these things, and that's kind of why I ask these questions. Now, there may be some people out there that may take offense to these questions, these questions that I'm going to ask. Um, and that's fine. I mean, I can't please everybody, but it's something that I know most of you would probably want to know this. Because none of us really know what it's like on the other side. None of us really can say we know 100%. I mean, we're not there. So, all we know is what they tell us, what the Bible says. But this... This, these two questions, couple questions I'm going to ask is pertaining to the Bible. Something I've always wondered, and you're going to be amazed at the answer you get, because if it's the same answer I got earlier, I was blown away. Is everything in the Bible, because I know that man wrote that Bible. I mean, it's supposed to be things that went back, you know, in Bible days, whatever, but man wrote that Bible. Is everything in the Bible true? same answer I got earlier today. Really? Yes. Okay. Because it states something somewhere in the Bible. I don't know if it's the Old Testament or the New Testament or one of the versions of a Bible. I'm not sure exactly which one. I've studied so many different Bibles over the years. I, I can't really remember right offhand. But it does state that when a person dies that they're just sleeping. And I've had several people pop in my comment section to tell me you're not communicating with the dead the dead's sleeping and they know nothing is that true no same answer I got earlier <clears throat> is that something that's false in the Bible yes and now I know that there's going to be some of you out there that are going to be like, oh, well, that's because that's a demon talking to you. Okay. Some people believe that there's only demons in this earth and that our, the spirits of our loved ones, I guess, are just nothing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> there's some people that actually believe that. Mm -hmm. There's only demons in this world. That's it. I don't believe that. Is, that. is there only demons in this world? Okay, no. Okay. Is it a sin 
to communicate with the other side. You know, if you think about it, back in those days, you know, this stuff was, this is all new technology. Well, that was really strange. That was really strange. My camera just shut completely off. Wow. Yeah. Well, how's the battery on it's it? It's full. Yeah. It just shut completely off on me. That's when I asked that question about yeah. the devil. That's <laughs> creepy. <laughs> Should we fear the devil? Should we fear God? Yes, I was yes. going to say, it should say yes. Yeah. We don't <laughs> need to fear the devil, don't we need fear to fear the God. Devil. Definitely, yeah, you got to fear God because he's who right. determines your, yes. your eternity. Okay. Um, the Ten Commandments. I, I'm always, I've always been a firm believer that the Ten Commandments is the main rules of life that you should live by. Is that true? Okay. But this is evil, right? Yeah, but this is evil. <laughs> We're telling you live by the Ten Commandments. <laughs> so we should all live by the Ten Commandments and we'll be good, right? Okay. And Mike was a firm believer in that too, by the way. Because the Ten Commandments, if you think about it, those are the ten things. That's why they're called the Ten Commandments mm -hmm. that God wants us to abide by. Mm -hmm. Hey, not all this other hocus pocus stuff that you see is written in there. I mean, we don't know who wrote all that stuff. And I do believe in the Bible. I'm not knocking it. Trust me, I'm not. I believe in God no. and I believe in Jesus Christ and I believe yeah. He died for our sins. I believe in all that stuff. Did Jesus Christ really die for our sins? Yes, He did. I believe. Now, would the devil tell us that? No. Nope. He wouldn't want to tell us that. He'd be like, no. Okay. Um, should I stop trying to communicate with spirits? No. Okay. I have a question. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Since I was a kid, I always felt like I have a psychic ability of some sort. Like, I feel like I can communicate with them and the through my dreams and everything. I'm just wondering, should I do something with my <clears throat> communicating with the other side? Do I have more powers, I guess I should ask, than I think? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I, I feel like I do, but I'm not sure. Like, I don't know how to use it. Will I ever figure out how to use it? Oh boy, I have a <laughs> quick yes. Mike always so intrigued by your gifts. Yeah. Look at that. Heather has had dreams since she was four years old that the dreams come true. Um, she's got a lot of psychic ability. She yeah. just needs to learn how to, to use it. You read some books and you know, some things like that. I've seen my brother's funeral before it even happened. I've seen the whole inside of, I think we talked about that before on a live stream. Mm -hmm. but I've seen the entire inside of the uh, funeral home. And I've seen him standing there in his spirit form. And I told my mom and my brother about it before he died. And she said, how, remember you said, how is he going to die? And I said, something up here, something the head. I and didn't that know. was before we knew about the brain tumors, yep. too. Before we knew about the brain wow. tumors, but it was something in the head. Oh, my God, I remember that now. I just mm -hmm. got the goosebumps. Yes. I said, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a gun. I don't know if it's, he's going to hurt himself somehow. I didn't know. Wow. But it turned out, you know, that's what yeah. it was. So, it's crazy. I know it is. See anything else you can think of you want to ask Mike or Gary? Mm -hmm. I always have questions for them. I yeah, I could I could think of something yeah, real quick. This will be interesting to watch. While you think of something, I'll do this. Okay. Okay, Mike and Gary, either one of you can do this. Point to where my silver play button is. <laughs> Point to where it is. Watch 
this. Oh my god. That's behind her. It did this the other day when I was doing this sitting here by myself. It's right over my shoulders, right back there on the wall. That's cool. Wow. That's awesome. It is. It did the same thing the other day. Okay, so um, is Scarlet the doll? My doll Scarlet, is she really haunted? Where's that thing? It's out back. Brock was scared of it. My grandson Brock was terrified of that doll. It used to be under your bed, right? No, that was the Indian doll. Oh. I gave that away. The kids were scared of that, yeah. too. So it's not saying yes or no. It's, is Scarlet the doll really haunted? Almost like it's trying to say yes, but maybe maybe it's iffy. Maybe that means yeah. maybe. I, I don't know. See how it's rocking? Yeah. I'll have to look up. I'll have to do a little bit more research to find out because it did that when I asked the same question the other day. Look at that. Okay, so. Um, whoa. whoa. You see the screen? What the hell? The screen is like bugging out right now, guys. It's going like bright dark. Oh, that's really weird. It's, it's never done that? It, it did that once before and... Are you sure your battery's not dying? No. Look, it's full. I have a full battery. Whoa. My screen is glitching really bad right now. Now, it did this not long ago when I was doing a video. I can't remember where, but I remember when this happened. I'm going to try to something. film what it's doing yeah, on Yeah, try mine. to film what it's doing on Just hers. Just so, yeah. Let me see. Turn it around. I mean on yours. That's so weird. Maybe she can catch it. Oh, it's doing it again. Look. Yeah, so check this out. The camera that we are filming on in my mom's office is glitching. It's going bright, dark. Bright, dark. And she said it... I know when it did it. The, when we were doing the EVP session in my bedroom with JT, it did the same thing. And one of the EVPs that came through was nice camera. Remember? Let's turn Whoa. the spirit box. Yes, yeah, turn the spirit Whoa. box on. This is crazy. Yes, it said nice camera. You guys go back and watch that. Yeah, it's a private so EVP session I did with JT. You guys might not be able to see what we see right we now. Couldn't. I don't. Oh, you couldn't see no, it? No, you couldn't. But if you go on to Heather and the Three T's, is which are, where I'm going to upload mm -hmm. this. You will see what, what we it. see. Yeah, it's still doing it. She's going to put that on her video so you can see what we're talking about. That's wow. crazy. And this is the second time I've seen it do this. And the first time was that night we were doing the EVP session with JT. Wow. All right, so let's turn the spirit box on. Okay. Because that around the time I said, when we were doing that video, I said, my camera's acting really strange. That's weird or something and yeah you couldn't see it in the footage but right around that time i heard an evp come through and said nice camera all right let's turn it on see it's not doing it it's a like a boom box there all right here we go mike gary Are you guys doing something to my camera? Are you guys doing something to my camera? you want to give us tonight? Gary. Gary? Oh my god! Holy shit! Oh Did you guys hear god. how clear that was? I'm sorry for cussing. Oh my gosh. That was so clear. Gary. It even sounded like him. Gary, we love you. Gary, we love you very much. We know you're here. Hi. 
Mike, are you here? Right here. Yes. I think it's a yes, Patty. We love you guys and we miss you so much. I cannot believe how clear that was. I can't either. How do you like our dowsing rods? Are you, have... Are you having fun with us using them? Messages for your children, Gary. Say one of your kids' names, Gary. Tell me. 
Any of these are ringing? Yeah, this left ear is ringing. Is that me? Spirit. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. My ear is ringing really it's bad. It's me. Are you guys here all the time watching over us? Ooh. See that light blink? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, that light blink. According to the dowsing rods, it said five months. Is that true? Four. No, four months. Four months. Yeah, sometimes it will pick yeah. up a little snippet of the radio. You just gotta determine which is the radio and which is not. I can I can always tell when I listen back what's the radio and what's not. And I don't get a whole lot of the radio. Of course, they're using radio frequencies to communicate, so that's why they always sound like they're coming through in different tones. Okay, well, I'll let you go, because I know you get... Ooh. And then you get tired. We love you guys. We'll communicate with you more through the rods, okay? We love you. We miss you, Gary and Mike. And all of our loved ones that have passed. Before we go, one more question. Is there, say your name if you are any other person other than Gary or Mike that's in here with us. I'm going to be going on a trip soon. Can you tell me where I'm going? Do you know what I'm staying in? go now. We'll talk to you again real soon, okay? Good night. We love you. Keep watching over us like you do. We love you. Good night. Sometimes it's hard to turn this off when you, you know, especially when you 
hear things that keep coming through, but um, I think it's, that's it's, really weird. My ears started ringing pretty bad. That happens to me a lot when I'm. Especially when I'm out at haunted places, mm -hmm. or if, if, and when I'm using the spirit box, I will hear like a ringing in a, in my ear. Yeah, um, that happens to me a lot. Now my um, ear's itching. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh boy. So that was interesting. I can't wait to hear those EVPs back. Um, and we definitely will do a live stream with these rods. I'm just trying to figure out a way where I can make it fair. Um, I'm yeah. probably only going to be able to do maybe 10 people each time I go live. Maybe I'll try to go live a couple times a week and, and do like 10 people. I also want to do some giveaways. Um, I'm going to be giving away some G-Team coffee mugs. And um, so uh, i got to figure out how I'm going to do that too. I know a lot of people give giveaways. I haven't just, I just haven't even had the time to sit down and plan a, a giveaway. I mean, I'm so busy between taking care of the kids, the house, school stuff, um, grocery shopping, just all the normal stuff, and then filming my own videos and editing my own videos. It just takes up so much time. I haven't had too much time. Yeah, to, it's very time consuming. It's very That's time consuming. That's why I haven't really put out a whole lot of videos lately. It's just. so time consuming, and I don't have any help. I don't have anybody here to help me. You know, it's mm -hmm. just me. I'm responsible for everything here at home. She helps me when she can. I have my friend Rhonda that helps me when she can. She comes over and helps me keep the house clean and, and things like that. But it's just, it's just hard. But I, I do want to come up with some ideas. I want to do some giveaways. I want to give away some coffee cups um, and a couple t-shirts. Uh, things like that. So I'll talk more about that. Idea. Yeah, I'll talk more about that um, soon. Uh, maybe in a live stream. And uh, at the end of this video, I'm probably going to be putting... Everyone that bought a G-Team shirt, your picture is going to be at the end of this video. So oh, watch for that. Nice. Yeah, I keep looking up at the screen, so if it, I'm not looking in the lens. <laughs> I catch myself doing that a lot. Yeah. So, um, so, yeah, so watch for the end of this video because I am going to be putting uh, your picture. If you've sent it to my Gmail, I will be putting your picture of you in the G-Team shirt at the end of this video. And if you didn't, then... So go ahead and send it to me. It's not too late. I can put it at the end of the next video. But I would like everybody that bought a G-Team shirt to send me a picture so I can put it in the video. Send a picture. Yep. Send a picture. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, did you want to do any more of the dowsing rods or do you want to? Um, no. No? Well, okay. I mean, unless you want to. It's up to you. Um, I think that the we, we go. We're going to we're gonna definitely plan something in a live stream. Definitely want to do a live stream mm -hmm. and answer some questions for you guys. Yeah. So... Hopefully yeah. I can be in that. Let me know when you're doing it. I will. I would like you to be in that for mm -hmm. sure. And I'd like to also do a little get-together with me, Heather, Marie, and Angie. All four yeah. sitting out back around the table. Maybe we can even invite Deb over. And we can all sit around the table. And we can do stuff with the dowsing rods. Um, I want to go explore like a haunted house with the I, four of us. I know. We should. <laughs> and bring a guy, but just make him stay. <laughs> yeah. You know, on the outside of yeah. it. Make sure we're safe and stuff. Yeah. So, that's what we should do, I We think. should definitely do that. We mm -hmm. need to do that. I, I miss doing that kind of stuff, you know. Because Heather and I, Heather used to go out with me all the time. I don't, mm -hmm. if you watch some of my older videos, she used to scare the shit out of me all the time. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> you gotta go back. It's a lot of fun when we go out. When we first started, we had had so much fun with this. I mean, we were using our cell phones to film because our, our mm -hmm. camera got broke, and then we, you know, it, it, it was just, it, it was fun time. We had a good it's, time with yeah, it. Yeah, it's came a long way. If you look back mm -hmm. at the videos in the beginning of how basic they were, yeah. and now it's like a movie. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's pretty People cool. tell me that all the time. Watching my shows is like watching a movie. You learn a lot. Yeah. And now some of them are long. And, and if you don't like the longer videos, don't write me and complain about it. Just don't watch it. I mean, so many people love to write and complain about stuff. I've heard stuff. You know, it's like, oh my God, you put out the longest videos. Not every single one of them are long. Some of them are 20 minutes long. Some of them are 30 minutes long. Some of them are 35 minutes long. Some of them are 38 minutes long. And then there's some that are an hour, maybe a little longer. But trust me, I edit out as much as I can to get it as short as I can. But that last video, I know it was kind of long. But like I said, you don't have to watch it. Or you can even watch half. Then go back and watch the other half another time. Mm -hmm. And then you got to think about this too. How many of you sit down and watch a movie for an hour? True. If my videos are kind of like watching a movie, well, what's the difference? <laughs> yeah, Just true. saying. 
you know, just saying. And we get a lot of, oh, well, I get a lot of Facebook requests. You, your Facebook is pretty much just for the G team, mm -hmm, right? You don't have, mm -hmm. okay. So I, I don't add everybody to my personal page. I don't just either. so you guys know. I usually would talk about stuff like this on a live stream. I feel like we're live because I it's do. I know. I do feel like we're live. It's so weird. I'm but like yeah, waiting for the I comments I, to pop I, I up. Add, a couple people here and there, but I mainly try to keep that just yeah. for family. Same and then here. I have a like page, Heather and the Three T's. You can talk to me on there, though. Yeah. I'll add everybody to that. Same here. People, in, uh, I've got probably over a thousand uh, friend requests on my Patty Adams page. Mm -hmm. I don't accept anybody on there other than my family and my close friends. My grandchildren are on there, my family and my very close friends. None of my fans are on there. Maybe three or four, but I've already met these people and become friends with them. Um, so I know that when I make comments and things like that in the G Team Fam Facebook page, it, it I can't seem to figure out how to get it to say the G Team Paranormal is making that comment. Instead, it's like connecting me to the Patty Adams Facebook page. I've tried my best to figure that out, but that's the reason why a lot of you are sending me requests on that Patty Adams page, which is my personal page. Because the comments are from that. So, of course, you're going to want to, you know, I mean, I would too, probably. But I don't accept anybody. So, don't be offended if you, you see that I didn't accept you. I'm not accepting anybody on that. I just don't know how to fix it. If any of you know how I can fix it, let me know. Oops, there goes the phone. If any of you know how I can fix it, let me know. I don't know how to make it so it shows up that it's the G-Team Paranormal making... A comment not Patty Adams you see what I'm saying I can't figure it out so if any of you know anything about Facebook and how to fix that issue let me know uh, otherwise I do not accept friends on that page that's what the G team fans page is for and that's what the G team paranormal Facebook page is for so I don't accept anybody on the Patty Adams page so just don't be offended I did this for that's my personal page yeah. you know it's for the family Anyway, all right, well, you guys, I love you guys very much. Thank you so much for watching this video, and we will be doing a lot more like this. Um, now that I see all the reactions and comments to the video I just put out with the rods, with me and Angie, um, that's why we did, did another one tonight with Heather, because uh, she's real interested in these, too. Mm -hmm. We're both fascinated over them. Yeah, they're pretty cool. <laughs> All right, well, you guys have you guys. a good night. I, feel like I'm I do feel like I'm live. Doesn't it? Like you guys have a good <laughs> night. I mean, you could be watching this in the daytime. Have a good have day. Have a good day. <laughs> have a good morning. All right, peace. Peace Love out. Love you. Thank you. Love you guys.